Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. We are on January 17th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And as well, welcome to the Planetary Positions and as well, Volcanic Activity Report for Week 2, 2022. As we are finishing off a Venus, Venus retrograde, in which was mentioned in the last update, Having a look here, we do still have everybody pretty close together here. In one corner of the solar system, throwing a little party for us all to be a witness. And to feel across the Earth, as across the Pacific Ocean, we had one of the largest seismic events. 30 buoys going off, causing tsunami waves across the Pacific after... Tonga Tonga erupted yet again. And all of this activity was warned during this Venus retrograde and as well this once-in-a-lifetime alignment with all of the planets in our solar system right now. Pretty much we are in one corner of the pie, everybody. And the last time this happened was our last mini ice age. For every action, there was a reaction. All of these cycles are coming to 200, 400 year cycle, 12,000 year cycle. Who knows? But Tonga released a 90,000 foot cloud looking at satellite imagery here over Hunga Tonga volcano that erupted on the 15th of January, 2022. Satellite imagery showing what looks like an atomic bomb going off in the Pacific Ocean. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who could have been affected by the ash cloud, the large ash cloud as well, tsunami waves along islands and in and around the Tonga region. All of this big ash cloud is now heading over to Australia, being wrapped up in that large low. Having a look here, this was the initial three-day forecast for the initial eruption on the 15th. So it traveled quickly to Vanuatu and as well a lot of it moved southward, followed the atmospheric river to Antarctica. Now let's have a look at all of the active and erupting volcanoes across the planet as we have an active and erupting 48 volcanoes across the planet. We're going to start out here with Popo in Mexico, Santiaguito Volcano, Fuego, Guatemala, as well Masaya Volcano. Over into South America, Nevadas de Ruiz. And of course, the Wolf Volcano. Lava flow eruption continues now from two vents. Pointing out here, the Fernandina volcano just south. There are some massive volcanoes, the Galapagos Islands, Raventador, Sangue, as well as Sabancaya in Peru. Down into Chile here, Nevadas to Chilean, and as well Villarica. Notable here, in which I do believe we may have a seismic and volcanic event soon, a Michael Volcano in the South Sandwich Islands region. Looks like a snakehead there. And then east of Madagascar here with Piton de la Fornes Volcano. Largest volcano in Africa, Old Doño, Langai. And as well, near Mirigira, near Gongo. Further northward here, or to Ale, into the Mediterranean here with Etna Volcano, and as well Stromboli, who always have always been active and erupting. Notable here, Campi Flegre, and as well Volcano Volcano. Now I point these out because these are active regions. 
and I do believe we could have an eruption soon. Barren Island volcano here, up into Myanmar. Kerinchi volcano, notable here, Krakatoa, as there's been large earthquake just south of it. Merapi volcano, Semeru, as well, Luatolo. Sporadic explosions continue as well. Irrawong up into northern Indonesia here with Ibu and as well Dokono. The Tal volcano in the Philippines up into Japan here where things have been quieting off a bit. Swiss and Ajima as well as Sakurajima. Up into Kamchatka here with Kermiski. As well, Shivalich. Aleutian Islands here and eastward into Alaska with Semisnopochnoi. Great Sitkin volcano. And as well, Pavlov. And we're not done yet. We're still going on here with the Hawaiian Island, Kilauea. As that leak has leaked, has drained over the last couple days. Stay tuned for the next video. It will be showing. Looking here, Papua New Guinea, Kadavor, Manam, Bagana, Abo Volcano, just south of there with Yasser, New Caledonia. And then, of course, we have Hunga Tonga, who released a VE5 eruption, spewing ash and debris 90,000 feet into the air. And this is what it used to look like. Be interesting to see the satellite imagery afterwards. Carrying on here with, last and last, not least, the mighty Erubus, the one and only active volcano that we know of in the southern Antarctic. So that is an active 49 volcanoes across the planet, as we've had some new ones since. And I want to welcome all the new followers here, pointing out the really stressed areas and very active volcanoes. We've got quite an emissions forecast coming up quickly here. But I want to thank again everybody for joining the channel, Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. A lot of new followers, a lot of new faces. Much love to y'all. Prayers for humanity. Stay young and have fun, as you saw me do today after a winter storm. So definitely watching China. Having a look here at windy.com, showing you the forecasted SO2 models. And wow, look at this. This is massive, unprecedented. And you can see a lot of it is heading towards northern Australia. But a lot of it is heading down into the Antarctic. Massive cloud coming off of Ecuador from the Wolf Volcano. The Galapagos Islands. This is all SO2 spewing from volcanoes. We've got a massive plate shift happening across the planet right now. And it has a lot to do with our solar cycles and as well our magnetic field which is not surprising that all of this is happening. Look at these. Look at the models for the Southern Hemisphere. There is a lot of SO2 and cloud cover on our planet right now, thanks to the Grand Solar Minimum. Trust me, folks, it's going to get cold for a long time, and we're going to see even worse seismic events. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.